All right, this one's gonna be on SoSeek. It is not a dating app. It is a P2P protocol, uh, kind of like what Napster is back in the days. But uh, this one actually survived all these years. I can't believe it, but it survived, you know, for this long, like over 20 years or something like that. Um, so uh, they do have their own like GUI client, but when you look at this uh, Nicotine Plus, which is uh, an open source client, uh, to the SoSeq protocol and I believe uh, the nicotine folks they did some reverse engineering to allow this to happen all right otherwise because you know it is closed source um, they have to uh, you know reverse engineer it and then uh, now we can connect to it anyways uh, if you ever use Napster pretty much uh, you know you search for some stuff and you double click on some stuff and you download it right so in here you can actually search for you know music um, no issues here right and just double click on the ones that you want real simple but they do have some other files in here so i want to use uh something legit like ubuntu isos here so we can download some stuff uh in here they do have like filters so you can do filtering too if you want if you have any do you have any more stuff no that's it what about this Linux ISO? Oh no, they, they can't. There you go. We have some more results now. So if you want to filter it out, uh, most of these are geared towards you know audio because originally I believe this one is just for audio stuff. Um, but if you're searching for other files, you can you know filter it out by different size and stuff like that. So we do uh, greater than 100. And let's say if I want to. Uh, you know, download this uh, Ubuntu Mate here. All right, double click on that. And it should be in here and it will start downloading, All right? Real simple. Uh, you can actually browse other people's, you know, um, to see what they're sharing. You can do a right click on them and then do browse folder. And I like this thing, you know, uh, back in the days, um, when you were using Napster, you can browse other people's stuff. Many was uh, advantageous because uh, they had like, um, you know, um, a good connection that you want to download from that same user. But, um, you know, you can do it nowadays too with, with this program here. See, so you can browse their stuff, see what else they got and download from them. Uh, so that's cool. I like that feature. And that's pretty much it for like, you know, sharing and downloading stuff for that. Um, you know from other users uh what else they got in here they do have chat rooms a private chat uh you're welcome to download but please reshare if you can okay oh that's one thing i need to explain to um in here it's kind of stupid let me see let me give me examples preferences right um they got like I can't believe they have these features in a file sharing, um, you know, program. The idea of, of uh, file sharing is just, you know, you share whatever you can, you know. Um, imagine if they had this like on torrents or something. I would go crazy, but they have this on this program. Like I check out some other uh, P2P client and nowhere have I seen this. Like geo blocking other people, like that's just retarded, but they have it in here. This is amazing amazingly stupid but you know they have that in here you can actually geo block other users from downloading from you all right you can actually uh ban users which i understand if it was just a chat kind of thing you can ban them from like messaging you but no you can actually ban them from like uh downloading and everything from you um and which is really stupid but they have that in here they even have like scripts in here or they call it plugins where they have like a leech detector, like just the one that you know you just saw me uh, look at. What was that one in the private chat, whatever it is? Uh, they'll like enable this, and then um, if you don't have any shares, which I don't have right now, because I just I, you know I just boot up this uh, program as the default here, and um, they'll have like a bunch of these scripts going on, and they'll either uh, either like that guy that guy was nice, he'll just say like hey you should sh uh, reshare and stuff like that, but then some other people they create some other scripts where. They'll auto ban you for not having, uh, you know, shares enable. Um, so other stupid stuff like that, uh, which I don't understand why they even have those features in here, but they do. 
All right. So personally for me, what I'll recommend is if uh, you don't want to see any private chat or anything like that, uh, you know, disable the private chat, um, disable all notifications. And as far as the searches in here, I also probably recommend you enable this and then uh, the free slots only. Otherwise, when you're searching um, and, you know, you, you get like some grayed out stuff like this, like this one is grayed out. That means you're in, uh, they have a long queue here, right? 161. So you have to wait a long time. So I personally, when I'm searching, I only want to see by default is that if, you know, it's a zero here on the queue and I'll download it instantly. Uh, that's personally what I recommend for the settings for searching. But other than that, um, besides like all these um, stupid users that are trying to like ban you or um, geo block you, if you want more examples of that, just go read on um, the SoSeek subreddit. There's a bunch of idiots on there too that uh, justifies, you know, they're they're banning other people. I don't know, just retarded. For me personally, if it's a P2P type of client, you either share or you don't share, right? Don't make a big fuss about it, you know? It's not like when I turn on this program, they'll tell me, hey, you got to share uh, a certain amount of things, right? It's not like a um, a private BitTorrent tracker. You know, like uh, when you go to a private BitTorrent, um, you know, one of those membership, one or whatever it is, um, they'll, you know, have some rules. Like they say, hey, you have to share uh, amount of ratios, uh, share how many days, you know, you have to keep up your account or whatever it is, right? And then everyone agrees to it. When you fire this program, no one has to agree to any of that stupid stuff, you know? So uh, I don't know why, like, some users um, have their own ideology when it comes to uh, sharing or not sharing. Personally, for me, if you want to share, share. You don't want to share, uh, don't share. Uh, don't be stupid about it, though. All right? But uh, that's all I can say on that one. Now, as far as the chat here, um, I don't really use it but you can kind of gauge how many users in here um and they have like different chat rooms in here over here all right look at all these other users on different uh chat rooms now you don't really know how many users are actually using SoSeek, but if i have to guess just based on the chat rooms and stuff like that maybe about two thousand or three thousand maybe five thousand tops on like peak days when everyone's online whatever it is um maybe five thousand but you're not really sure because you know not everyone joins the chat room like by default i never joined the chat room but i'm just showing you here that's what they got in here for the chat rooms right so you can message other people if you like um you can actually add them to your buddies list for you know um approving that's another thing like if they um you know sometimes they block you and uh, for no reason all right or maybe they had to make up their own reason uh but you can actually add like you know your buddies to the list and then you can actually auto approve them to uh allow them to leech from you and stuff like that so they do have like a little politics on here if you want to deal with that personally for me i don't really care if you want to ban me great block me whatever i don't care all right uh, I don't think that's the majority though, so it's, you know, uh, just search for stuff that you want to download and if you can't download it, go get it somewhere else. That's just my opinion on uh, using these uh, P2P programs. But anyways, that is SoSeek in a nutshell. Um, it lasted this long, which I am surprised. When was this created? Let me ask Tuxi is. Uh, SoulSeek. Let's say 2001. Okay. How about uh, Napster? So Napster was 1989 and that was uh, 01. So that's like two years. And I actually never heard of SoulSeek until like probably the last five years or something like that. Uh, and then only recently I used it this year. So uh, it survived all these years, you know. And I believe they're still only by the original creators. Napster is pretty much dead. I mean, Napster, they have, like, um, an open source, you know, re-implementation of that now. But the original Napster is, you know, long gone. Uh, but SoulSeek, this is, like, the original stuff. 
uh, you know, the original protocol and everything. However, we're using a uh, an open source client, but the protocol, you know, still exists. They do have their own, like, um, you know, their official GUI, but that thing is proprietary. And if you want to use that, go use that. But I'm using uh, Nicotine Plus here, uh, the open source client, to connect to a closed source protocol uh, to do our file sharing. Anyways, um, as far as my experience using this, there's still plenty of users. If you really want music, uh, there's a lot of music on here. I personally just use it for like uh, for the videos or other files besides music because I already have all the music I need. Um, but anyways, uh, you could get really good speeds on here. You could meet idiots on here, but like I said, disable all the uh, chat, all the uh, notifications, and um, you keep your sanity, right? Anyways, uh, check it out. Uh, Nicotine Plus should be in your official repositories. Um, I installed it from the pipx install because uh, I don't know, when I was trying to share some stuff, um, it wasn't working. It was just a show empty. Uh, another thing on here is that, uh, I don't know, I couldn't get UPnP to work. Um, but I can still, you know, search for other people. I can still download from other people. I can still browse their uh, shares and all of that. Um, anyways, still works. And I'm amazed it's been around this long. And they haven't got all these lawsuits to close them down. Uh, check it out. That'll be it for this one.